Hi! I wanted to do a quick follow up video about the VGA to HDMI converter from my previous video. There have been many very interesting comments and questions regarding this converter on atariforum.com and I wanted to go over those and share my findings. Before starting the tests, I wanted to know if I could find any datasheet on the IC used by this converter and possibly analyze it. Unfortunately, this is a well kept secret as they carefully laser erase the part number. So, let's just start testing. The first concern shared on the forum was the ability to support both 50 and 60 Hz. As the frequency can be set by software, I found this neat little tool that can force the desired refresh rate to 50 or 60 Hz. I tested both frequencies on the VGA converter and both frequencies worked in both low and medium resolution. However, the SCART upscaler does not fully support the 50 Hz. There is still an image, but I actually discovered that 50 Hz wasn't fully supported, and this was the reason for the bouncing, flickering image we saw on the previous video. Also, note that the converter's OSD is showing 60 Hz. Interestingly, the bouncing stops if there is no movement. It seems to me that there must be some digital processing or sync issue. A second concerned voice on the forum was about the ability to render a 50 Hz motion properly. Most of the converters out there, including the SCART upscaler, are designed to process TV signals, which are historically interlaced. Now, my theory is that the RGB signal intended for the monitors is progressive, just like 99% of the VGA resolutions. The Atari monitors being proprietary, I don't see why Atari would have designed them to use an interlaced signal. A progressive frame makes more sense and would have been simpler to implement and cheaper to manufacture. However, I am sure there is some sort of interlacing happening within the modulator to fit the composite and RF port. I keep exploring and maybe probe the signal or analyze a color monitor circuit. The first 50Hz motion test is the game Stardust, which is known to have a background moving at 25 or 30Hz, but the player's vessel being updated at 50 or 60Hz. This portion of the video has been shot at 60fps, so if your YouTube player can handle it, you should be able to see how the spaceship is sliding smoothly compared to the asteroids. I'll slow the video down to appreciate this. We can see the spaceship being updated twice as often as the background. The second test is a flicker test. One of the Atari 4 members compiled a test program that alters between two colors every second frame. A converter blending the two interlaced fields will show a gray image. A converter dropping one of the fields will show only the purple or the green field. As we can see here, we do have proper flickering showing both colors, which is a good sign and proves that all the fields are displayed. The same test run on this cart converter indeed shows a gray image. As mentioned by some, converters properly handling 50 Hz motion are usually expensive, so I hope this VGA to HDMI converter is a good news for the community. I'd like to thank everyone who replied to my previous video on the forum, and feel free to leave a comment and like for more content.